So, Steve here. Like a lot of you, I've been binge watching Netflix, just trying to find something to watch to keep my mind off of things. And I thought I'd give a review for the last show I watched, binge watched that is, and that was Too Hot to Handle, which is this reality contest, contest show. Uh, this one is about a bunch of hot singles on this island down in Mexico. Uh, and they're on this retreat, and the name of the game is to say celibate. You know, they, they all want to, you know, hook up, but if they want to win a part of the $100,000 prize, they have to follow the rules of this um, AI thing called Lana, which tells them, hey, no kissing, no patting of the ass, uh, no sex. And, you know, that also means, you know, fellatio and... <laughs> whatever you ha have you so you know it's like will they won't they and people gonna you know give in to temptation who will hook up with who you know it sounded pretty promising just something to watch and I don't know after the first episode it just got kind of boring because not a lot happens there's only like one or two hookups and uh, <laughs> When, you know, they're not showing these people trying to start these relationships or whatnot. They really, they don't really have the cast doing a lot, you know. They have these workshop things where they're trying to install the idea that these people need to be in monogamous, deep-thinking relationships. But all, all that turns out to be is a bunch of crap. <laughs> you know, it's like, I shit you not, these people, look, well, the women looking at their vaginas at one point. And it's like, oh. This is, you, you think that'd be more exciting, but it's not. It was just, it was, it was pretty boring. Um, you know, the people on it, there are a few I like, like Bryce and Nicole, Keels maybe. But, you know, the ones they focused on, uh, Harry and Francesca, ugh, they just got so boring. And they're the ones that are always breaking the rules. You know, the first time it happened with them, you know, Harry was a dick to Francesca and tried to blame it all on her, so everyone starts yelling at her. And then later she ends up kissing this other con contestant, Haley, as a way of revenge. And I was kind of on her side, because, you know, everyone, like, you know, the way the kiss had happened, which cost, you know, $3,000, you know, it, it was kind of a mutual thing, but this dick wants to put all the blame on her. Everyone starts yelling at her for, you know, having human interaction. Imagine that. And, you know, it's like... She decides, you know, I, I thought she was gonna, it was going to be like a protest thing. So she kisses them, and then people find out that they just lost another 3000 and they're mad at her. And she's like, hey, I'll keep doing it if you're not nicer to me. But not really. She just kind of kept breaking rules with Harry and whoever because, you know, she was a moron. <laughs> it didn't really care about the money. I mean, like I said, that just it kind of got old. And it was just boring. And they didn't do too much. And I really didn't like the, the whole message of the show where they think, you know, you can't have one-night stands and hookups. That's all meaningless. And you have to have these deep-thinking relationships. And, you know, they, they had this AI that was de deciding who was growing as far as a person along the way. And a few people who didn't grow got kicked out. I think one of them, Madison, really got fucked over because she didn't break any rules. And just because she didn't agree with the process or, you know, the AI, Lana, decides to kick her out. And she didn't get a, any of the prize money. Which, like, why? Because, I mean, who was really deciding it? I mean, it's, you know, this AI, this thing that looks like Siri, it's not, it's not a real AI or even like a Siri thing. It's just, you know, some actors off stage reading some lines and then, you know, it, can, it goes across... <clears throat> You know, the airways went on out, out this machine. And, you know, someone's giving her the lines, like the producers or whatnot, are saying, hey, these people, they're not with the, they're not with the program. We're going to kick them off the island. And, you know, why, though? I mean, kind of puritanical. I, I did not like that. And, yeah, it, no one really seemed to be hooking up. I think most of them figured out, hey, we want to come out of this thing with some money. You know, we got to behave ourselves. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, I just, I was bored by it.
And that's all I got to say.